Thank you. You may be seated. Today marks the end of high school, but the beginning of the rest of our lives. In four years, we have attended sporting events, shows, club meetings, dances, and one too many virtual classes. And although we didn't get our full four years in high school, be proud of how much we've overcome as a class. We have all worked together to make the most of our high school career. And now we sit in this arena about to, come, about to become Lampkin alumni. Graduation is a milestone and a tradition. In just a few minutes, our administrators who have helped us get through these last four years will hand us our diplomas. And then with the toss of our cap, our high school journey will end. But before that happens, let's all take a moment and give gratitude to the teachers, classmates, and family members who have helped us get here. Now, do everything you can to enjoy this moment. Listen once more to the advice of your teachers and classmates. Think once more about our motto, once a lambkin, always a lambkin. As you walk out of here today, we leave you at this encouragement. Always remember the good. Remember the good times you've had and the good friends you've made. Remember the advice given from your favorite teacher. Remember all the hard work you've put into making today happen. Let's truly be grateful and enjoy our last few moments as high school students. Let's appreciate sitting next to each other all together one last time. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. And now, please join me in welcoming Mrs. Styers to the stage. Good evening, my name is Penny Styers, and I am the proud principal of the Fort Collins High School. Welcome class of 2023 and the guests here today to celebrate your accomplishments. Our graduation ceremony has not changed a great deal over time. We continue with our proud traditions, which connect FCHS students to our past while creating a bridge into the future for all those that will follow. What makes this graduation unique, however, are the individual stories of each of you here. Graduates, the culmination of your remarkable efforts over the past years to get to this point is amazing. Every decision you have made to apply yourself shows resilience in the face of disappointment and persevere, demonstrates your character, and has helped create opportunities for your tomorrows. At this time, I would like to acknowledge all of the educators and staff in Poudre School District who have committed themselves to educating and serving our students. If you work for Poudre School District currently, or you are a former employee, would you please stand and be recognized for your contribution to the success of these students? We would like to recognize the family and friends of the graduates who have loved, challenged, and encouraged the graduates in their journey for greatness. Graduates, please give your families a hand. We are honored this evening to have as our guests on the platform some very special people who have a keen interest in your accomplishments. As I announce to you our platform guests, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. I would like to thank the members of the Poudre School District Board of Education here today. DJ Anderson, Jim Brokish, Nate Donovan, Carolyn Reed, Jessica Zamora, Vice President Kristen Draper, 
President Rob Pedersen. We are also honored to have Poudre School District Administration and Cabinet members in attendance. Mr. Brian Kingsley, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Tracy Guile, Assistant Superintendent of Elementary Schools, Mr. Scott Nielsen, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools, Eric Wansavage, Chief Human Resources Officer, Lauren Hooten, Chief of Staff. And finally, my colleagues at Fort Collins High School, selected by the senior class, honored teachers, Rick Bloss, Jason Clark, Laurel Harris, Elaine Holmes, Chris Lee, Craig Rhodes, and Claire. In your program are the names of today's graduates, some with asterisks beside their name. Those with asterisks are our honor graduates who have earned a high grade point average over four years. They wear cords presented to them prior to our ceremony. The class of 2023 is ranked by weighing the GPA relative to advanced placement courses and college concurrent enrollment courses. The entire faculty of FCHS joins me in thanking these exceptional students for the extra effort they put into their high school studies. Would all of the honor graduates in the class of 2023, including the valedictorian and salutatorian, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Members of the Fort Collins High School GT Honors Academy complete a four-year honors program consisting of leadership training and community involvement capped by the conducting of an original scientific research project in which they developed a genuine research question, completed a review of the relevant scientific literature, designed a research method, conducted a scientific study, and created a written research report and oral presentation documenting their findings and conclusions. The GT designation on their diploma certifies that the students are considered an honor scholar and have completed a capstone project complete with a research thesis. Will the 20 members of the GT Honors Academy please stand at this time and be recognized? You may be seated. I would like to have the students from the following National Honor Societies please stand and be recognized. National Honor Society. National Technical Honor Society. Stay standing, please. National Technical Honor Society. National Art Honor Society. Tri-M Music Honor Society. Alpha Theta Math Honor Society. Science National Honor Society. National Speech and Debate Honor Society. These organizations provide opportunities for our strongest academic students to be engaged in school, but also in the community. They have completed an incredible number of hours of community service, and for that, we are very grateful. You may be seated. Would the four students who have the Bioscience Academy endorsement please stand?
Stay standing, please. An academy unique to Fort Collins High School, these students have met the requirements which include four years of specific science coursework, including an AP science course or enrollment at Front Range Community College in a science-related field and an internship of at least 120 hours. This is a tremendous accomplishment. You may be seated. Will the senior AVID students please stand? This year is our seventh graduating class of AVID students. These senior students, along with our trained educators, are transforming our school in many different ways. Regardless of their life circumstances, AVID students overcome obstacles and achieve success. At Fort Collins High School, AVID students graduate and attend college at higher rates than their peers. But more importantly, they can think critically, collaborate, set high expectations to confidently conquer the challenges that await them. This year, our AVID seniors have been accepted to college all of them, and have earned a total of $911,000 in grants, scholarships, and awards. Congratulations, AVID graduates. You may be seated. Would the 70 students who have completed the requirements to receive the Poudre School District's seal of biliteracy bil please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Poudre School District verifies that these students can read, speak, listen, and write at high levels in English as well as a second language. This means that 17% of our graduating class of 2023 will be receiving this tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations. You may be seated. This year, over 508 students took 710 advanced placement examinations making our students eligible for thousands of hours of university credit. 117 of our students were named AP Scholars by the College Board. Since 2011, Fort, Fort Collins High School has awarded an advanced placement endorsement on those students' diplomas who have met some rigorous academic cr criteria, including passing five or more year-long AP classes with a B or higher. Will the 35 students receiving an AP endorsement on their diploma this year please stand? You may be seated. This year, we have two individuals that are considered the very best academically. They have earned A's in every class they took in high school. The only separation between their GPA is due to the number of AP courses or college concurrent enrollment classes each completed. The salutatorian of the graduating class is the person with the second highest grade point average. Aiden, Willie, would you please join me on stage to receive your salutatorian medal? I do not have your medal, but I'll get it to you. Aiden graduates with a GPA of 4.280 during his high school career. Aiden has been a member of Science Olympiad, Symphonic Band, Symphony Orchestra, Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, Tri-M Honor Society, National Honor Society, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, FCHS Varsity Soccer, and he is receiving a seal of biliteracy. 
Aiden will be attending the Honors College at Purdue University in the fall and will be majoring in aerospace engineering. Well done. This year, our valedictorian is Andres Lay. He is graduate, graduating with a 4.390 GPA. Andres, would you join me at the podium? <laughs> During his time at FCHS, Andres was involved in FCHS Basketball, PSD Varsity Volleyball, FCHS Varsity Soccer, National Honor Society, Bioscience Career Academy, Math Honor Society, Poudre Valley Hospital Volunteer, Poudre Valley Hospital Radiology Intern, CSU Rapid Prototyping Lab Technician and Intern, elementary school volunteer, summer elementary and middle school level STEM camp volunteer. Andrist will attend Yale University and plans to major in physics. At this time, Andrus would like to share a few words with his classmates. Thank you for the introduction, Mrs. Styers, and thank you all for being here today. I can't define happiness. I can't tell you how it might make you feel, or even sometimes how it makes me feel. But when I look back at my time at Fort Collins High School, I realized that for four years, I felt at home. I felt comfortable, excited, content, and now nostalgic. I sure had my fair share of tough days, subpar test scores, lost friends, but it was always outweighed by a brighter one, a moment, a relationship that has meant inexpressibly more to me. I can't define happiness, but if I tried, I think it's the feeling when I, get, when I walk into Collins every morning and see the people that mean the most to me. When I first stepped inside the building, seeing hundreds of new faces, I felt somewhat reluctant. It was unlike anything I had ex experienced before. But leaving on the first day, I instead felt welcomed, like I fit in. The nerves of being a footprint lost in the snow became an excited potential of befriending all of you. I quickly realized that I wouldn't get to know all 425 of you in front of me today, but the smallest interactions or smiles while passing through the hallway have been memorable to me and have contributed to my happiness at our school. I leave Collins with a sense of excitement, excitement to continue experiencing new things and continuing to enjoy this journey we call life, but also with a sense of sadness, a sense of regret that maybe I didn't maximize my experience, that I could have made more memories in these four years that we are celebrating here today. But as I've grown throughout these four memorable years, I can now reconcile that it was enough, that what I accomplished was enough, and that all of us were enough. Everyone has a different criteria for what makes them happy. That all-nighter you pulled to talk with your friends, maybe. Or that time you skipped practice to drive blindly around Fort Collins with a crush you thought would never acknowledge you. That time you went, you saw, you laughed, you loved. It's these memories I'm scared to lose, but these memories that we will cherish and recount for the rest of our lives. I, like many of you, have mixed emotions about this moment. I found my happiness surrounded by each of you. But tomorrow, we will wake up as alumni rather than students, and tomorrow, we'll start another beginning. These four life-changing years will be but a memory, a memory both exciting and scary to step away from. But as we navigate our new paths full of novelty, tests, and growth, we will again have to discover our happiness. We will find the meaningful relationships that will last our lifetimes. We will pursue the interests with which we achieve satisfaction. We will reestablish our definitions of who, what, and where. And we will find contentment in becoming the people who each of you would like to become. And we will remember, most importantly, that that is enough and that we are all enough. I've struggled throughout high school with an endless search of the job, the interest, and the person who I want to become. And though many of you have determined the exact path you wish to pursue and are taking steps toward bringing such goals to fruition, we all have time. 
We have lived but a sliver of our lives and will continue to grow each day and realize our purpose in this beautiful place we live. Nonetheless, the clock keeps ticking. Though we have ample time to continue discovering ourselves, time is limited. So whichever direction this unknown path takes you, seize the moment, class of 2023. Take advantage of the opportunities you are given and create your own possibilities. Find what makes you happy and don't let it slip away. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening, Lambkins. My name is Lexi Mipschek. And I'm Peyton Keefe. Today, we are here to formally introduce our class of 2023 Senior Gift. The Senior Gift is something we leave behind in our school to commemorate our class and its individuals. This year, we have decided to partner with the class of 2024 to present an electronic billboard that will be placed outside our parking lot on Horsetooth. This billboard will be updated with announcements regarding school events so that everyone who drives by is able to see what's happening at FCHS. With so many exciting things coming up, we hope that this billboard will bring in even more people to, to, to truly see how amazing FCHS Lambkins really are. Thank you for the past four years, Lambkins, and congratulations. Now, please welcome Paige Thomas to the stage to share a few words with her fellow graduates. Got it, okay. <laughs> the best and getting better. These are the words I read on an old Fort Collins High School pin I found at the flea market one day. It sounds like your typical cheesy high school slogan, but I have been trying to place and understand those words ever since I read them. How could anyone achieve the best but still continue to grow? The best, I suppose, is a reference to where we have been for the past four years of our lives. At times, it can seem hard to imagine those years laden with online classes, daunting tests, and frequent speed walks to the tune of Music Minute, lasting conveniently as you are about to be late, as the best of our lives. So what could possibly make them the best? Maybe it's us. Maybe it's the fact that, throughout it all, we managed to find joy. We rallied at football games, ate lunch with our friends, we still dressed up silly during homecoming week. We tried new things, working and driving and voting and failing and thriving, indulging a newfound independence where we make our own decisions about who we are now and who we might be one day. High school has given us the room to be brave and safe all at the same time, and I don't know how it can get better than that. The getting better part is not quite as easy. To some, the thought of things only improving is a relief. High school is not always gentle to us all. However, thinking about the better can also be frightening. Why would I ever want better if I have the best? But then, I remember another time when I felt this same level of anxious anticipation about a big transition, one that felt like my whole world at the time. Eighth grade graduation. I didn't want to leave the comfort of the school and life that I knew, but I craved change and growth. In this nervous period, in which I was lucky enough to be able to decide which high school I wanted to attend, I did what all genius and original people do in times of confusion. I made a pros and cons list. Fossil, pro, close to home. Cons, everything else. Collins, pros. Fresh start, GT program, cool tower, cons. It's scary and it's new and it's intimidating. After my expert research, 13-year-old me somehow managed to make the brave decision to do something I have been thankful for every day since. Collins was in fact scary and new and intimidating when I arrived. I had only one friend and was deemed immediately unfit for the volleyball team, a tragedy that broke my fragile 14-year-old heart. Amongst the scary and new and intimidating, however, was the better. 
sweet friends who met me and accepted me as I am, a lively student council, and teachers who truly cared about me and my well-being. Now, standing here, as I find myself once again on the verge of something scary and new, my future, I'm trying to find the strength of my 13-year-old self to embrace it. We have all done that in these four years, the scary and the new things, and experienced the good simultaneously, surviving and living through it all, taking the good with the bad. So I will leave you with this. Embrace the fear of not knowing exactly what comes next. Be thankful for where you are now and continue to relish the best and appreciate the better that is yet to come. Carry the people and the memories of this time with you, even if things change. Remember what you've learned from your experience at the best Fort Collins High School and continue to strive to do better. Congratulations, congratulations class of 2023. At this time, please turn your attention to the stage at the, back of, at the back of Moby where Jillian McCreary and Sam Walker will perform The Last Goodbye from The Hobbit. From the sky on the wind I heard a sigh as the snowflakes cover my fallen brothers I will say this last goodbye night is now falling so ends this day Tree 
Aiden, I found your salutatorian medal. Would you come back up, please? <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> now see, when you make a mistake, you just own it, right? <laughs> That's your first lesson. Wow, what an honor to be here. It's with great pride and joy that I stand before you today as we celebrate a monumental milestone. The graduation of another exceptional class from Fort Collins High School. You are the 132nd graduating class. Fort Collins High School was established in 1889. It has a legacy that spans over a century. It's remarkable to think that this institution has been shaping the minds and lives of students for more than 130 years. From its humble beginnings, graduating just five students in 1891. These five students were likely dressed in formal attire from bustles and day dresses with lace and beading to tailored suits made of wool and tweed. I highly doubt that I would have seen a student wearing a dented up garbage can paired with a drumstick at a football game, or students dressed in a full-on lamb costume that doubles as pajamas on football Friday night. I can also say with 100% certainty that the class of 1891 did not create an epic slip and slide in the athletic hallway during the final days of the school year. And I'm pretty sure the principal didn't consult with chat GPT to write his graduation speech. I also likely wouldn't have seen a unified game of any type where students were given the chance to shine, being cheered on by the masses and I'm fairly certain I wouldn't have experienced the joy I feel when I've seen this senior class embrace each other's differences in ways that have made us all better humans. Fort Collins High School has come a long way since 1891. Today, as we celebrate the class of 2023, we add over 425 graduates to our ever-growing list of alumni. Now over 30,000 students have walked across the graduation stage, ready to embark on new adventures and make their mark on the world. Each one of you sitting here today represents the legacy of Fort Collins High School, carrying forward the values of excellence, integrity, and community that have been instilled in you during your time here. As principal of Fort Collins High School, I'm filled with pride and admiration for each and every one of you. I have witnessed your growth, your achievements, and your resilience. You've overcome challenges, pursued your passions, and made lasting memories that will forever be cherished. You've excelled in academics, athletics, arts, and beyond, showcasing your incredible talents and all the potential that exists within this graduating class. But beyond your ac academic accomplishments, it's the intangible qualities that truly set you apart. Your kindness, your compassion, and your determination have been evident in your interactions with one another and your contributions to our school and our community. You've shown leadership, adaptability in the face of unprecedented circumstances, and you've proven that you're capable of navigating through any challenges that come your way. 
As you move forward in the next phase of your lives, I urge you to hold on to all the lessons you've learned at Fort Collins High School. Embrace the opportunities with an open mind and a courageous heart. Pursue your passions with unwavering determination and never be afraid to take, take risks or face challenges head on. Remember the value of this community and the importance of giving back to those around you. Graduation is not just the end of your time at Fort Collins High School, but the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. You're our future leaders, innovators, change makers of our world, and I have no doubt that you'll go on to achieve great things. As you venture out into the world, carry with you the spirit of Fort Collins High School and the memories of the friendships and experiences that have shaped you into the remarkable individuals you are today. In conclusion, I want to express my deepest congratulations to the entire class of 2023. It has been an honor and privilege to serve as your principal, and I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Always remember you're part of a legacy that spans over a century, and you will forever be cherished as a graduate of the Fort Collins High School, home of the champions. At this time, it is my pleasure to present the graduating class of 2023 to our superintendent of schools, Mr. Brian Kingsley. Presenting the class to the superintendent is a required step in the process of verifying for Mr. Kingsley and the Board of Education that all of you have met the graduation requirements established by the Poudre School District Board of Education and the State of Colorado. Mr. Kingsley, I present to you the class of 2023. Every member of this class who is present today has met the stringent requirements set forth by the Board of Education and the State of Colorado for the highly respected Fort Collins High School Diploma. Mr. Kingsley. Well, this is fun. Good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Can we please give these incredible graduates from Fort Collins High School another round of applause? My name is Brian Kingsley, and I am your proud superintendent, and I have been looking forward to this moment all year long. Uh, you know, Fort Collins High School, as Principal Styers referenced, is the home of the champions. You can see that emblazoned on the front cover of each of your programs tonight. I want to congratulate both Aiden and Andrus, aerospace and physics. Both of you, as you, I listened and learned about all of the various accomplishments and clubs and activities, taught me and made me realize that I think I have a lot more free time on my hands than I realize. I also want to say, Andrus, I enjoyed your speech. You know, like you, I'm not sure that I can fully define happiness, but I can say that you and what all of the other graduates have accomplished is already more than enough. So thank you for your words of wisdom. Paige, I want to thank you for your words of wisdom around finding joy and being brave. I think that's exactly what Jillian and Samuel did as they had an opportunity to sing that beautiful song here tonight. I also want to take a moment of privilege to thank Principal Styers. Penny, you are one of the finest principals with whom I have ever worked. And being the principal of the Home of Champions is incredibly fitting for you. I want to thank you for your leadership. Yeah, let's give a round of applause, please. I want to thank you for your leadership and service to this entire community, and I want you to know and be proud that you have found and left this iconic school better and stronger than you came and when you embraced it. So thank you very much for your leadership. <laughs> Graduates, you know, in preparing for your commencement, it was deeply important to me that I use, you know, this time to connect with your hearts and minds who you are as people. Even though they don't speak for each of you individually, fellow graduates, Adnan, True, Arlie, Isis, and Paige, 
did an incredible, incredible job of helping me understand, better understand this group's collective experiences as students at this incredible school. I want to thank you for allowing me a few minutes to share what I learned from them. You know, yours is a class that enjoys life and being together. That's important because life, a lot like your senior year, goes by incredibly fast. From bonfires to basketball games and everything in between, I think you've experienced a lot of joy, and I think that's why Paige talked about that. You know, Arlie also talked about, you know, this class, how you'll miss the people who have become a family. Even in a big school, somehow you know and see one another, that's pretty special. This class is also incredibly determined. For many, getting back into the groove of school after the pandemic and remote learning was incredibly rough. But you didn't let that or anything else stop you from being successful. Be proud of that. I know that I am. And true, you describe this group as spirited. As Lampkins, you are part of a history of excellence dating back to 1891. That's not just about having spirit, you are a part of a living legacy. A living legacy. You know, family, sometimes younger generations get a bad rap. Am I right? You know, as we get older, we may compare students' experiences to our own and tell ourselves stories about their work ethic, their digital habits, or what we think that they believe. As I talked to Adnan, True, Arlie, Isis, and Paige, though, I did not see five stereotypical teenagers. Instead, I witnessed five extraordinary human beings, each of whom has experienced trials and tribulations, love and joy, sacrifice and strength. True. You said you want the people here today to walk away knowing just how hard you and your classmates work to get here. Teenagers aren't lazy, contrary to misconceptions. Many of you canceled actual plans to be with students to study because you were focused and determined to get things done. A lot of you navigated big changes at home, and you earned not just the diploma that's sitting on the stage, but every ounce of personal growth that you experienced along the way. Your maturity showed me even more when you attributed your growth and successes not only to yourselves, but also to the others that are in your life. They are the people who helped you get where you are. Adnan, you said it's because of them we're here now. We're really thankful for all of it. Isis, you said your families did a lot and so did your teachers and the staff at school. They don't have to help you with personal problems, but they do, the teachers at this school do. And you said that they really try to understand you and where you're coming from. And Paige, you shared a story that moved you deeply when Mr. Bloss wrote you a last minute letter of recommendation to your dream school to get you off of the waiting list. It meant so much to you, right? I wanna say congratulations to getting in, by the way. My observation, my deep belief, is that you all are much more mature than society thinks. I know you're more mature than I was at your age. You have been forced to deal with big, complex things that others have not. And I have a heck of a lot, heck of, a lot of respect for your generation and who you are as people. You know, most of you are 17 or 18 years old. Think back to who you were when you were in elementary or middle school. Knowing what you know now, what would you tell your younger self? What would they most want or need to hear? I think we heard it from Andrus and I heard it from Isis. You are enough. Those three words are simple and yet so profound. Keep telling yourselves that, believe it, and know that I do. True, you said to tell your younger brother to study and to have fun. You know, what I hear in that is a desire for achieving balance in life. Be driven and dedicated, but also work hard. Also make time and space to slow down and live in the moment. Your body, mind, and heart, that will need that and will appreciate and thank you for it. Keep pushing. Adnan, you told me it's important to not let anyone else speak for you and to believe in what you want to do. You also said to enjoy life because when you're old, you've got too many problems. And man, I will tell you, that is a hard truth and it is a very, very honest. <laughs> Arlie, you said don't let the world silence you. Represent your ideas and values. Speak your truth. When you were younger, you said you were so shy. No one looks like you. And now that you're older, you understand that actually that is your superpower and strength. That you can get your voice out there and represent your culture and your people. You can empower others and give them a voice. 
What inspires me, leaves me awestruck, is the learning, is learning about what you have already collectively done to connect with others and make a difference. My admiration for you all goes to a whole new level, hearing the ways that you continue to have an impact. Paige, your words, your wisdom resonated with me. You said you want to keep doing things that are difficult because the more difficult things you experience, the bigger capacity for joy gets. You added, it would be nice if I could teach other people that. Paige, I can honestly say that I learned that from you and you're already having that impact. I heard Adnan and Arlie talk about the importance of being open to new ideas, particularly ideas of young people. It's about encouraging and empowering people, helping new generations believe in themselves. When you do that, you can change the world. You want to try new things and gain experiences. You want to make voices heard and stand up for what you believe in. And you want to do all this while being true to yourselves, not changing because of your differences, but celebrating them as a part of your authentic selves. This group, this family is going to do remarkable things. I know that from visiting your school and in a relatively short period of time, I talked with some of your classmates. When I talked about how inspired, how moved I was coming out of the conversation and apply that to the period of time spanning the rest of your lives, I have no doubt that you are going to go on and do big transform transform transformative things in our community and beyond. As Lauren shared and Kate shared in the beginning of our commencement ceremony, remember the good. Once a lambkin, always a lambkin. Thank you for being you. I am so proud of all of you. Congratulations to the Fort Collins High School class of 2023. <clears throat> Principal Styers, I am honored to accept the 2023 graduates of Fort Collins High School. Board of Education, President Pedersen, as the proud superintendent of the Pooter School District, I now present to you the Fort Collins High School Class of 2023. Congratulations, everyone. As president of the Pooter School District Board of Education, and on behalf of the entire Board of Education, it is my honor to confer diplomas on you, the Fort Collins High School Class of 2023. Congratulations. This is just a reminder Fort Collins High School has a long-standing tradition of a dignified ceremony. We request that all students and families be allowed to hear the graduates' names as they are being called. Please respect our tradition of a dignified ceremony by not interrupting the proceedings with air horns, bells, or whistles. We appreciate your cooperation. Andrus Lay. Aiden Willie. Ruben Rojo. Abigail Crum. Edwin Gonzalez Hernandez. 
Katherine Grauberger. Jorge Canizales. Isabella Harbaugh. Juan Gonzalez. Lauren Herc. Jackson Hemi. Ella Johns. Hugo Gomez Villatoro. Peyton Keith. Piper Ramsey. Alexis Mivshek. Elena Crooks. Paige Thomas. Gustavo Gomez. Anna Wynn. Dariana Robledo Lucero. Kitson Broadbelt. Ariana Robledo Lucero. Lexis Hansen. Marcus Della Torre. Joaquim Vogel. Alejandro Gomez Morales. Catherine Flugi. Nicholas McGuire. Lainey Schneider. Maeve McGuire. <laughs> Joseph DeLazer. Sydney Stokes. Torin Sardi. Colin Carter. Precious Sotelo. Alani Garcia Olivas. Alexandra Sandoval Bobadilla. Areli Estrada. Karen Mancia Salas. Isis Silhasek. Amalele De Luna Rojas. Yasmin Starr. Yasinia Romero Chalel. Xavier Jones. Alicia Perez Perez. Emily Rodriguez. Anna Mejia Cuevas. Briseida Najera Vasquez. Myra Flores Arvizu. Danica Bianabo. <laughs> Natalie Tiffany. Xavier Campos. Yeah. 
Evander Zovod. Ariana Valdez. Dante Campana. Avery Smith. Diego Rodriguez. Angie Rivera Villa. Reese Hunter. Audrey Hathaway. Cameron Soto. Grace Rust. Asher Neighbor. Anthony Vasquez. Tristan Hyde. Halen Pontius. Mark Menezes. Haven Peckham. Karen Benias Suazo. Josiah Powers. Cal Whittish. Jackson Clark. Benjamin Wigriff. Thor Bradford. Jack Romero. Catherine Mays. Christian Grundike. Wyatt Lucero. Lars Rushenberg. Eric Hopkins. Aislinn Galbavy. Jonah Koenigsnecht. Madison Stover. Gordon Richmond. Gavin Holm. Luke Wagstaff. Jamar Mitchell. Jack Todd. Rowan Christie. Brady Edelman. Tegan Davis. Christian Lozano Romero Vargas. Katie Curtis. Camden Gray. Brianna Peterson. Andrew Leeming. Alex Guzman. Jacob Martin. Jennifer Julian Miranda. Evan Kent. (laughs) 
Irvin Gaten Vizcara. Wyatt Maney. Robert Undy. Kirkland Johnson. Logan Carey. Arina Volkova. Trevor Lowell. Riley Brock. Ali Jones. <laughs> Lilia Whitman. Lainey Krager. Grace Reinhardt. Jordan Dernal. Lillian Danfus. Megan Olson. Julia Denny. Alexis Rocha. Jacob Peterson. Charles Carson. Aaron Irvin. Jay Malsum. Myla Aldana. Owen Klein. Timothy Atterbury. Daisy McKenzie. Quinn Nguyen. Samantha McGurk. Dominic Shaw. Mishka Little. Jeremiah Baca. Victor Keen. Colin Liebarger. Claire Hoyle. Yahir Nunez. Paula Alejandra Bernal Soraka. Austin Aiken. Kai Fardal. Malia Schoenfeld. Reagan Grebenstein. Morgan Burnside. Avery Tibbetts. Samuel Walker. Isabella Smith. Bruno Sika. Jose Faustino Corral. Rucker. 
Baker. Malia Douglas. Marcos Salazar. Jordan Romano. Aiden Horwitz. Daniel McGrath. Abigail Wheeling. Aiden Cothran. Antonio Maxi. Emily Seiber. Liam Rodriguez. Kara Kluver. Aiden Mendoza. Adnan Karamoko. McManus. Cooper Daron. Kaylin Freely. Elias Romero Terlel. Clara Griffey. Eleonora Gerardi. Quinn Campbell. Angel Gomez Mejia. Gabriel Statmuller. Alex Bailey. Broderick. Robin Hutchinson. Andrew O'Donnell. Taya Beener. Evelyn Tetson Velasquez. Haley Teixeira. Gabriela Alba. Samara Sikora. Jackson Barron. Vincent Yorsha. Francisco Martinez Ulibarri. Joaquin Palin Talavera. Uriah Beach. Claire Casperson. Ever Sabion. Joshua Gidley. Abigail Rogers. David Morris. Henry Seamers. Nadia Lee. Mason Garman. Mariana Gallegos. Victoria Tusha. Futa Matsui. Paige Torres. Jose. Romero Chalel. Claudia Gibb. 
Fiedler. Jilly Yi. Layton Konkanian. Alec Nugent. Tan Ha Nguyen. Leslie Townsend. William Clauser. Luke Walker. Ava Johnson. James Fordyce. <laughs> Emma Eddy. Benjamin Hammers. Jenica Flores. Addison Lackey. Ruby Flores Dominguez. Sasha Cabrera. Abigail Baker. Samantha Minks. Brooklyn Shepherd. Rachel Lotzenheiser. Samal Timur Bekova. Zain Al Abedin Maze. Andrew Vega. Faith Hun. Jillian McCreary. Rachel Rorig. Ella Lowe. Catherine Hagen. Camille Vaughn. Nicholas Stoffer. Nathaniel Swizzler. Donovan Teskovich. Reagan Archer. Fabian Morales Zimbron. Ashley Dominguez. Owen Kinney. Christopher Scarberry. Joel McConaughey. Cutler King. Emma DeLongshaw. Kai Hempel. Devin Farrell. Anissa Frazier. Addison Innes. Adrian Perry Rouse. Zachary Smith. Aiden Delang. Aiden Martinson. Quinlan Bono. Micaiah Moore. Mary Marquetta Young. Katrine Sola. Kynwin Wick. Alexander Sifuentes. 
Alessandra Fairchild. Micah Robertson. Brooke Baumgartner. Madeline Egan. Joseph Kennedy. Luke Delancha. Ian Hun. Kaylee Wright. Jasmine Mornis. Eleanor Sherman. Samuel Martino. Laney Templeton. Dylan Bull. Catherine Steger. Juliet Welch. Jace Connor. Xander Monks. Naomi Dornfeld. Ryder Rhine. Marcos Escobar. Mackenzie Babcock. Kaylee Scott. <laughs> Tiffany Hayes. Colton Miller. Samantha DeVivo. Eamon Foster. Hannah Heineke. Joseph Van Meter. Layla Keim. Andrew Way. Ross Engelbert. Midnight Martinez. Priscilla McIntosh. Willow Sproul. Fulin Tomanic. Callie Brickner. And yet, Vargas Munoz. Mason Shade. Taylor Gonzalez. Miley Montoya. Emma Nance. Avery Daniels. William Bond Fisher. Elliot Spangler Young. Alana Walker. Brody Cinebro. Francesca Lara Puccio. Amalia Tyler. Maximilian Taylor. Trevor Daniels. Stefano Paisan. Edwin Ontiveros Payan. Christopher Wold. David Huber. Tanner Bennett. Kaya Erton. Jennifer Tran Antonuez. Luke Stadelmeyer. Corbin Macy. Holly Boyer. 
Ella Jones. Zachary Rademacher. Lucas Cordova. Leilani Devine Miller. Bryn Erickson. Edgar Morales Rojas. Victoria Quesada Stoner. Elizabeth Reyes. Maya Watkins. Jenna Hilgenberg. Andrew Corner. Chase Galloway. Amber Sieverts. London Jackson. <laughs> Randy Neria. Deacon Shine. Josiah Elmore. Layla Smith. Dianara Armanderes. Jack Carpenter. Kelly Hatfield. Chase Demler. Peyton Burning. Edwin Ojeda Medina. Michael Healy. Trey Brownell. Tucker Swanson. Ian Dawson. Skyler Deseret. Gaia Bakar. Abraham Regalado. Toby Sanders. Carmine Vecchio. Tula Ortiz. Jennifer Gonzalez Dominguez. Morgan Kuhlman. Adriana Wesley. Ella Kimberlin. Landy Clervain. Emma Jones. Carter Smith. Eugene Warford. Finn Hamilton. Hannah Smith. Schaefer Michelson. Rachel Markley. Ella Bataglia. Isaiah Erickson. Grace Wade. Alex Augustine. Tyler Howe. Caden Black. Sophia Marlino. Benny Santai Kayuch. Anneli Harrington. Gabriella Rogers. 
Rowdy Anderson. Aubrey Vigil. Fisher Barnesworth. Alexa Kenna. Aiden Downs. Ryan Story. Torin Swanson. Kai Larson. Lauren Shutt. Emma Flugi. Nevin Earhart. William Pettis. Miguel Garcia. True Novak. Lance Jacobson. Jenny Griffith. Josiah LeClaire. Rocco Harmon. Anna Melita Chalel Choni. Vincent Speed. Caitlin Hoover. Elise Askey. Elijah Wilson. Courtney Habermel. Liliana Dejeuner. Mark Del Toro Vargas. Deanna Reed. Kelsey Souders. Rachel Price. Adriana Navarro. Arden Chabal. <laughs> Zoe West. <laughs> Kenneth Lopez. Zane Kathan. Roxy Jacobs. Kaja Charkowski. Whitney Peterson. Miguel Romero. Ryan Kacharski. Christy Oliva Ortiz.
Thank you. Now, will the audience please stand for the singing of the Fort Collins High School alma mater. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening, friends and family of our graduating senior class of 2023. My name is Anna Wynn, one of your student body officers. And I'm Ella Johns, also one of your student body officers. Congratulations. You stand here now in purple and gold as graduates of the Fort Collins High School. Now, it's a it's time for our closing ceremony. Graduating is a huge accomplishment, and you all should be so proud of yourselves. As a class, we've been through so much. These have been four unforgettable years, and we cannot wait to see what you all accomplish. Throughout your time at Collins, you have traveled the Lampkin Way, and we would like to give you a round of applause. Throughout your time at Collins, you put time into your education. You poured effort into each assignment. You made the crucial sacrifices to result in the success of this day. The late nights, the hectic schedules, the tears, and the laughter all paid off as you walked this stage today. Not only have you grown as students throughout these four years, but you have grown into stronger, greater individu individuals. Today, we celebrate this journey. As a final gesture to show that we have graduated, it is tradition to move our tassels from left to right side of our caps. Seniors, please stand and join us as we move our tassels. Please remove your tassels from your cap as we do our traditional cap throw. On the count of three, we will throw our caps. One, two, three.